Hey guys, welcome to this short feature drop video where we'll be checking out our latest API update, Address Labels. This update adds user-friendly labels to all known addresses such as Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, as well as DEXs like Uniswap and OneInch, and also NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and Blur. These labels are across our entire API. So that's NFT transfers, ERC20 transfers, wallet transactions, and all metadata endpoints. Pretty much wherever you find a to of address and a from address, you'll now get a to address label and from address label respectively. If we jump over to the docs, we can look at this in a bit more detail. As I said, it's available across our entire API. For the purposes of this though, I'll be checking out the decoded transactions by wallet. And that can be found in our wallet API, transactions, and then it's here. If we take a look at this first example, you can see we have the regular from address and to address. And then under each one of these, we have the from address label and to address label. The from address label you can see is null. So when we don't find a match, we still return it as null. But in the case of the to address, we found a match and we can see it's polygon bridge. If we take a look at the next transaction, we can see a MetaMask swap. So it looks like they're swapping some funds. One previous to that interacting with the USDC contract and we can see that they're approving it. So if we take a look at this address in a bit more detail in our wallet viewer app, and this app is entirely built from Morales APIs. So if you're interested in building any aspects of this, drop a comment below and we'll build out a video showing you how to do so. But we can see they were created, the wallet was created three days ago, it was last seen three days ago. There are four transactions here. First one is a native ETH transfer coming in from an un unknown address. Second one is that contract interaction where they're interacting with the USDC contract and they're approving some funds. So this approve function is coming from our decoded endpoint. Next up, we see they're swapping this ETH for some USDC via MetaMask. And then finally, they're sending this USDC onwards to the Polygon bridge. So given this small set of transactions, plus knowing that the wallet was created three days ago and we've not seen them since, it's pretty safe to assume this wallet was created just for the purposes of bridging some funds. If we check out another example, maybe a bit more detailed, We can see this wallet was created two years ago, last seen 28 minutes ago, active across four chains, many more tokens and NFTs, all of which you can see here. Got many Uniswap NFTs, so it looks like they're big into lending and staking. If we take a look at their timeline, you can see that not only are the transactions labeled nicely, such as swap, receive, contract interaction. But these labels such as Uniswap are also coming through and enriching this timeline view. So like we saw with the NFTs, many Uniswap v3 transactions here. Interacting with the Pepe contract we can see. And if we search for maybe Binance, lots of Binance chain transactions yeah okay we can see they're withdrawing some eth from this particular binance wallet so this is a, a really nice example of the type of timeline you can build with morales you'll notice that many of these have got a little exclamation mark against them as well these are flagging known or suspicious token contracts and this is pretty much it in action so that's it really. Um, just wanted to have a quick update showing you the feature, how it works. Hopefully you find value in it. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can build your own wallet viewer such as this, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.